Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Susan's Just Making It. I'm Susan and I'm here making stuff, messes, chaos, and making it through life. If you've been here before, welcome back. If this is your first time here, welcome. Glad you decided to stop and watch my video today. Um, I hope everyone's week is off to a really awesome start. If you like the video today, don't forget the thumbs up. It's right down here. If you like my content, consider hitting that red subscribe button. And if you do, make sure you hit the notification bell so you know every time I upload new content. So, I went ahead and put my mask on already because it's kind of messy and I do it in the bathroom where I can see what I'm doing a little bit better. And um, today I'm using this natural shea butter mask sheet. It's supposed to um, protect your skin and moisturize it. So I thought, oh, sounds good. We'll try that one. So, and I um, apologize, my Mask Monday video is going up a little later than usual. Um, I was debating whether I wanted to do one today because I've been struggling with some things lately and I really have been a little bit of a funk. So, I didn't do anything over the weekend for YouTube and I really wasn't sure if I wanted to do one today. But, I'm here. So, anyway, I had different plans for this week's Mask Monday, but I ran into some snags and like I said, I was debating whether I was going to even do one or not. And I wanted to discuss something today, which I hope does not offend. And I do realize that it may cost me some subscribers and um, wasn't sure if I really wanted to talk about it because of that. But that's part of the problem is that people are afraid to say what's on their mind sometimes because of, you know, it might offend somebody or, you know, a few subscribers may drop off. And if that's the case, that's something I'm willing to deal with. Um, when I was younger, I never wanted to rock the boat. But as I get older, sometimes if things need to be said, I'm usually the one to say it. So with that being said, I wanted to talk about something that's been bothering me a little bit lately. And um, maybe some of you out there that can relate. And if you can't relate, I'm glad you can't relate. Okay. Um, so, uh, yeah. It is a little take on, I did a video before talking about gratitude. Way different than what I'm going to talk about today. But it's kind of has a little bit to do with that. Um, so, this all came about because I you know, not wasn't involved in the conversation because I chose not to get involved in the conversation. But there was a conversation recently that took place about some individuals talking about having um, money problems. Okay? And times are rough and we all do experience money problems. The particular money problem that was being discussed was about um, investing and um, moving assets and things like that. And another person commented um, about the grocery prices going up, which I do agree with. Every time I go to the store, everything's more expensive. I'll give you that. But because of um, grocery prices going up, that they were going to have to, it was either they were going to have to pass on a subscription box or a sale or, I don't know, something like that. And I'm like, you know what? I'm just not even participating in this conversation because my opinion and like I've stated in other videos where I talk about touchy subjects just my opinion just my experience and I am not on here purposely trying to offend anybody I just want to throw some stuff out there and like I said some people can relate some people can't if you can't God bless you those are not money problems those are not money problems. You want to know what money problems are? Money problems are the kids that don't get free lunch at school, but their parents still don't have money to give them for lunch money. So when they don't have the money for their lunch or they don't have the money on their account, their lunch gets thrown away instead of served to them. That's money problems. Money problems are when you don't qualify for food stamps or you don't get enough food stamps, so you have to depend on food pantries or church pantries. That's money problems. 
Um, people going without adequate health care because they make a dollar or two too much to qualify for Medicaid, so they go without necessary medication or health care, that's money problems. Okay. Um, now, some of the things I'm discussing, I've experienced some of them I have not. Um, and it's neither here nor there which ones I've personally dealt with. But um, in some states, your bottles and cans from soda, beer, whatever, are returnable for a refund. Money problems are when you have to take those refundables back to the store to afford to buy a pack of diapers when you're raising kids. Okay? That's money problems. Money problems are when you don't have enough bottles and cans to take back to the store. So you start counting to see if you have enough hand towels and dish towels to use as diapers if you can't afford a pack of diapers. Okay? Money problems are when your kids go back to school after a winter break and then they come home and ask you, does Santa Claus not love me? And when you ask them why they would ask that, they say because all these other kids at school got all these wonderful presents from Santa and I only got this, this, and this. That's heartbreaking and that's money problems. Okay, money problems are when you're working full time because you're a single parent and you have to keep taking time off work to go pick your kids up from school because they keep getting into fights because they're being bullied because of the clothes or shoes they wear. That's money problems. Money problems are things like homelessness. And homelessness is not just people that are living on the streets with dirty clothes, sleeping on a cardboard box. That's not the only form of homelessness. Couch surfing, um, living out of your car, that's homelessness. And that's money problems. Money problems is when you have to rely on things like home energy assistance programs, food stamps, um, women, infant, and children to buy formula and baby food. Okay? Um, things like that are money problems. Not figuring out where to move your assets, not having to pass up on a sale for a want or a luxury. Those are not money problems. And I don't care who gets offended by me saying this. And if you're getting offended, you're probably the people I'm referring to. Those are not money problems. Okay? Um, I could go on and on about some of it. You know, um, kids that get bullied because their, their, their clothes don't come from the mall. They come from the local thrift store and garage sales. And, you know, um, I really don't want to get into every example because you get the general idea. You know, um, like I said, um, people go on without things that so many people that don't have money problems take for granted. Okay. Um, basic common human necessities, um, hygiene products, laundry products, food, health care, shelter. When you don't have those, those are money problems. Okay. And I don't want to come on here and sound so callous and stuff like that but sometimes things need to be said instead of everybody ignoring it and oh you know don't don't touch that it's a sensitive topic and when I first thought about mentioning this stuff in a video part of me was like Susan just leave it alone leave it alone it is what it is just leave it alone I'm not gonna leave it alone and the gratitude part comes in that um, some of these people that are claiming they have money problems, which in my opinion aren't money. I mean, I guess it's money problems because you don't know where you're going to shuffle your money around to, but it's nice that you have the money to worry about that. You know, um, but where the gratitude thing comes in is that um, the people that don't have issues with, I'm going to take this off because it's just stretching. It's like moist here and it's drying out at the bottom. So I'm just going to or either that or just, yeah, I'm just going to take it off because it's flapping around too much. It's really irritating me. But um, the gratitude part comes in. Those of you that have never had to experience a few of the things I mentioned, and believe me, there's a lot more. There's a lot more examples of it. 
you know, a lot more examples of it. Like the people that don't have a car so they walk miles to work, you know, and they're only making minimum wage and trying to support a family. Yeah. Be grateful if you have a car. A lot of people don't. Um, they have to rely on public transportation. In some places, public transportation is not available. So, you know what their public transportation is? They're on two feet. Okay? But I don't want to get into that because there's I could go on all day about some of the examples of what I'm talking about. Some of them I've personally experienced. Some of them I have not. And by God's grace, I have not experienced some of them. But where gratitude comes in is those of you that have not had to walk to work. Those of you that have not had to send your kids to bed hungry. Those of you that have not had to go without diapers and formula, medical care, food, um, toiletries, um, a way of doing your laundry, um, heating water on the stove, um, turning on a stove in the morning to heat it up enough to get dressed because you don't have heating fuel. Um, you know, your kids feeling less than because their clothes aren't as nice, their toys aren't as nice. Um, their parents can't go to school functions because they have to work. Um, the list goes on and on and on. The gratitude comes in if you've never had to experience those things, be grateful because too many people do. Okay? And a lot of people that aren't in these situations, they think that doing something charitable makes them rest better at night. And I'm not saying, trying to minimize that because I do give a lot of credit to people that are charitable and do for people that have less. But there's a whole thing with that too I have an opinion about. Being charitable is not donating clothes that you wouldn't wear, okay? It is not donating food that you wouldn't eat. Um, my opinion, and like I said, it's only my opinion. Being truly charitable is donating clothes that are that you would wear yourself. And instead of giving somebody your scraps off your plate, serve them the same plate that you're eating from. That's true charity. People that don't have are not less than human beings they don't deserve the stuff that's not good enough for you they're still human beings they still have feelings they still have value and all that stuff that goes along with it so being charitable is not donating or giving your cast offs and for those of you that may be offended by me saying that you're probably the people I'm talking about and I'm by no means trying to pat myself on the back because right now I I do not have I do not have. I am not able to meet my basic needs. However, recently I found out of a family that lost their home to a fire. Okay? I did not go in my closet and give them the rags that weren't any good. No, my rags are what I use when I paint and I do yard work and stuff like that that I don't care if it gets dirty or ripped or whatever. I didn't do that. As a matter of fact, I gave brand new sneakers. There was a mother, a daughter, and a father. I did not have anything that I could give to the father. I am a female <laughs> by myself. I did not have anything that I could donate. But it just so happened that the mother and the daughter wore the same size shoes that I wear. I gave them each a pair of brand new sneakers just because one of them um, rubbed my toes and one of them rubbed my heels. Brand new. Couldn't wear them because they hurt my feet. They're better than the shoes I'm wearing now. One was some Fila sneakers and one was a pair of Nike sneakers. The shoes I'm wearing now aren't even as nice as the ones I gave away. That's charity. And I'm not saying I deserve a pat on the back, but that's charity. These people just lost everything they owned. They don't want somebody's cast-offs. They're already dealing with enough. I don't know. Like I said, it's just my personal opinions, and I feel strongly about it. You know, just because somebody doesn't have enough food to eat they don't want stuff that you wouldn't eat yourself I'm sorry it just because you're poor doesn't mean you don't have taste buds okay um, I feel like it's almost an insult if you're giving somebody the bottom of the barrel it's just my opinion a lot of these people in these situations are already dealing with enough and 
to do the bare minimum or what you think is good enough is kind of adding insult to that. And like I said, if you're offended, I, I do apologize. It's not my intention. I'm just trying to put it out there, the realities of it. You know, just because somebody's poor or doesn't have the same things that you have does not make them any less of a person. It's all about circumstances. Yes, life choices, but sometimes not everybody has the same tools starting out in life. Um, you know, um, and a reminder to those of you that do have, and like I say, be grateful that you do, because all it takes is one circumstance, one choice, one life event, and you can be that person. All it takes is for one thing to come along and you can lose everything that you take for granted today. And if you don't believe it, there's a lot of people out there that, that can tell you that that can definitely happen. You can be on top of the world one day and right there sitting next to the homeless person the next. And if you say that'll never happen to me, okay, hopefully it doesn't. But I'm telling you it can, okay? Um, and like I said, I am having it really rough and I'm struggling with a lot of stuff right now. However, I don't take charity unless I absolutely have to. I have pride and I will take as little help as possible because I want to be able to maintain that pride. And I don't want people to do things for me because they feel sorry for me. I want them to do things for me because they want to do something nice for me. Okay? But at the same time, even though I'm struggling and don't have, I will do for the next person if I'm able to because I know what it's like. And um, I understand that this is probably a temporary thing. So I'm just trying to have patience and faith that I'll make it through this. Um, I, um, although I'm struggling, I know there's people that have it way worse than me. I still have a roof over my head. I still have food to eat every day. I have people that care about me. Um, so when I start to be a little upset about some of the struggles I'm having, I'm, I'm still grateful for a lot, a lot. Okay, um, and a lot of people say, you know, don't you feel bad that you've had certain struggles in your life? Because there have been times that things have been really bad and I've had really rough patches, but then there's other times that I've been working a good job and things have been going smoothly and I've had it pretty decent, you know? Um, so I've, I've experienced both. I've experienced really rough times and I've experienced pretty good times. That's life. Um, so I just keep telling myself it'll pass. You know, it's a lot of situations are temporary. It's just about having patience and faith. But with that being said, a lot of people, you know, how do you feel about the struggles you've had? Yeah, it's been hard, but I'm still here. I survived. And I don't think, I think a lot of people, oh, if I had things to do over, I would do this, that, and the other. I would have preferred not to have had the rough patches in my life, but I don't, I don't generally think that I would do it differently. And I think a lot of that comes with age and maturity. And the reason I say that is because I'm grateful for everything I have. I, you hear that saying, um, expect nothing, appreciate everything. That's kind of where I'm at. I don't really have a lot of expectations in life from people and circumstances, but I'm grateful for everything that I do have and the people that I have in my life. And Another reason is that um, all my children are adults now. My daughter um, went to live with her father when she was really young and that's a whole entire different situation. But I have raised my two sons on my own. And we've gone through a lot of rough times. I was a single mother and my kids, were, my boys were a handful, okay? And I know it was really, really rough for them growing up and they tried not to um, burden me with that as they were growing up because they knew I already had enough to deal with but now that they're adults and we can sit down and talk as adults you know they tell me some of the things they experience but at the same time now that they're adults they um understand things differently and they acknowledge that I did the best that I could and they don't blame me for the rough patches we had and not only that um they feel and I totally agree that it has made them better people okay um, again, not trying to pat myself on the back, 
but my kids are very charitable and is that is not from me telling them to do so when they were growing up I might bring food home from work or on the way home from work and I didn't know they had friends there and I didn't even have to tell them I would just bring in just enough food for me and them not knowing that there was another one or two friends there without being told or encouraged they would go to the kitchen and they would separate their food and share it with their friend on their own same thing with if um dinner was being cooked and a friend happened in i'd ask their friend have you eaten yet no whether we had a lot or a little that friend ate it just meant everyone had smaller portions that night okay when my kids were teenagers once in a while they'd have a friend that was having a rough time with their parent i have housed some of their friends for certain periods of time because i'm not going to let some kid be out on the street because they're having a conflict with their parents and i didn't get involved in the family dynamics of that but i'm not going to have a kid wandering around without a place to sleep okay and believe me these young men that are adults now remember that you know and like I said, I'm not trying to pat myself on the back. I'm just trying to tell you, people that haven't had will give because they know what it's like. Okay? Um, my son had a friend that um, had some family issues and didn't have a place to stay. And he stayed with us for, you know, a week or two until he could figure something out and lay the clothes on his back. Without me saying anything, my son went in his closet and found clothes and shoes. They happened to be around the same size and gave them to this other um, kid without being asked or told encouraged on his own and he picked out his better things to give to his friend okay and like I said these people remember these things and it makes me feel good when I go out and when my kids have money and they'll see in the summertime somebody that's sitting on a bench and you can tell that they're more than likely homeless they know they're thirsty they'll go in the store and they'll buy them a bottle of water and bring it out to them um my older son um as a teenager worked at mcdonald's and there was a homeless guy that every week on his way to the bank to cash his check he would see him and he would cash his check and he would go to um there was a place that they had a um this man was doing like a barbecue dinner in the summer and every week when my son got paid he would buy this man a meal and he would go and buy him like two or three bottles of water and a bottle of soda and stuff every week and every week he was waiting for my son and he'd you know wait go wait outside the bank till my son came out and my he never asked my son for money but my son would buy him a meal and drinks every week i didn't even know about it till after this had already happened things like that make me proud you know and if it wasn't for the way we struggled more than likely my son would never think to do that I was with him one time when he went to cash his paycheck and we went in um, a little convenience store where he would cash his check and there was a gentleman outside and I've waited on him before different places I've worked and I know he's a homeless vet and um, he just asked my son you know hey buddy would you mind buying me a drink and my son's like sure what do you want he says could you buy me soda and he goes oh, what kind do you want he says oh I want a coca-cola so my son went in and he didn't buy like the little 16 or 20 ounce he bought him like a one liter of coke and came out and handed it to him and the guy thanked him you know it was summertime and my son took some money out of his pocket and gave it to him and I didn't say anything I just stood by and watched the interaction stuff like that makes me feel good because he didn't have to do that the man was happy with just the soda you know and then a couple of his friends criticized him later in the day oh you don't know what he's doing with that money my son said it doesn't matter he didn't have any money and I did you know and um, my kids will hold a door open we will be in the store and they will get something off a higher shelf I don't have to tell them to do that you know and um but it hurts me because like i said my son every year when they were in grade school they would come home with little flyers um doing um non-perishable donations to give to the poor and um my son would tell his friends you know we are the poor you know which kind of makes you feel bad as a parent but um like I said, I've had rough times, but when I'm doing better, I try to give back as much as I can. 
because um, I never know when I'm going to need help again and I'm hoping that somebody's around there in the circle keeps recycling um, and like I said this is not meant to pat myself on the back or anything like that I'm just trying to like I guess I'm trying to throw out there that if you've never had to deal with some of these things be grateful every day that you've never had to deal with these things and if you're in a rough spot and you're dealing with some of the things I've talked about um, just try to hang in there you know because life changes it's up and down up and down and I hope anybody, everybody out there that um, maybe has gone through this or is going through it to some degree um, have faith you know and my heart goes out to you because I know what it's like and um, it's, a, it's getting to be a really rough world out there and um, like I said it was kind of a trigger to me when I heard people complaining about things like oh I'm, I'm sorry you had to pass on up on the latest sale I love a bargain just as much as anyone else but um, people out there got way, rough, way rougher than you do and like I said I'm grateful for where I'm at because I know I know there's people out there that have a way rougher than I do and I have gratitude a lot of gratitude and um, I don't know what everybody's faith is and what you believe in but I believe in a higher power I believe in God and I know that I'm being looked out for because I know that my life could be way worse than it is and um, you know sometimes maybe you just gotta have a little bit of faith and trust and things like that and like I said it started out as a trigger because this conversation when I first kind of heard about you know was um, around when this conversation was taking place I was a little heated to say the least I was like really really you got money problems let me tell you about money problems but I'm like Susan you better chill for a couple of days before you address this because yeah the, the subscribers will definitely drop off because um, there's a few things in life I feel pretty strongly about and that's one of them and like I said even when I'm doing good I've worked jobs where I did very well but I still try to stay humble because it didn't last you know it didn't last um, so I guess I'm just trying to say you know we have to sh have some gratitude and um, no matter how bad I know this is this thing like really gets under my skin when people say it, it like really makes me cringe but no matter how bad you have it take the time to realize there's probably somebody out there that's got it way worse than you and be grateful that you're not that person and if you are doing well be grateful that you're doing well if you have an opportunity to be charitable um, try to do so because you could be in that circumstance someday and with that being said like I already touched on being charitable is not doing things for people that aren't good enough for you because people having a rough time are not less than they're just as valuable of as a human being as you are and it's been my experience that a lot of people that like they say I, ha I used to hate when I was growing up that every rough thing in life gives you character gives you character gives you character <laughs> whatever that means you know when I was a kid but now that I'm an adult I understand that you know um, people that have not had the easiest lives are usually very charitable very understanding very compassionate and um, things like that so I've rambled about it long enough I just had to get that off my chest because um some people out there don't know what real money problems are and um, I hope I didn't offend but if somebody initially got offended maybe they have a different understanding right now um, just try to be compassionate and um, things like that and sometimes be a little bit um, mindful when you're saying things who might be close by or over here and um, just kind of be mindful when you throw stuff out there you know um, I don't think that the conversation was meant to be boastful or anything like that I'm not saying that but be kind of mindful of your audience so that being said I'm gonna shut up now before I really <laughs> really say something I shouldn't so um, for those of you that have stayed on to listen to my rambling um, I appreciate that I hope nobody was offended or anything like that and if anybody can relate um, you're not alone um, we all struggle from time to time it just depends on what degree and um, just help where you can when you can and 
be appreciative of what you have and all that other good stuff so with that being said i'm going to say goodbye while i'm still able to do so tactfully and um i look forward to seeing you guys in the next video i hope you have an amazing week bye everyone